Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. Stay tuned to check out what I'm going to prepare. So I've got my pan on a medium heat and I've got some coconut oil heating up in the pan. I've added about 500 grams of minced meat, beef minced meat, and I'm just sauteing that so it can get nice and brown. So to my minced mixture, I've added about two tablespoons of cumin powder or cumin spice powder, which I'm just going to mix together with the mince and make that saute for about two to three minutes. So I've added about a teaspoon of garlic and chili paste into the mixture as well, and I'm just mixing that through so it can saute as well. Now I'm just going to add about two to three pinches of salt, obviously to your taste. You can see that I'm moving the mixture around quite a bit. I'm trying to get as much of the moisture out of the mince as possible. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of chili powder and mix that through as well. You know I like all things hot and spicy, so the spicier for me the better. Obviously you will then gauge this according to your own taste or to your own palate. So on my chopping board I have one whole tomato which I've de-seeded, I have about half a green pepper which I finely chopped, I have about a half an onion but I didn't use the whole half of the onion, I only used about a quarter, everything is nicely finely chopped and this will be my fresh salsa which will accompany my nachos. Everything is nicely chopped. I've added about a half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper, a teaspoon of hot sauce as well. And you can also add some fresh coriander. These are the wraps that I'll be using to make my nacho chips. Um, they are the Blue Shirt Bakery Low Carb Wraps. They're very nice, very low in carbs as well. Um, so yeah, I've, all I've done here is I've just chopped it up into little triangles and I'm going to fry them up in some oil to get them nice and crisp. Heating up some odorless coconut oil to fry up the nacho chips. And as you can see, it came out very nice and crispy. And voila, here we have my deconstructed nachos. I topped my mince with some cheese, some lettuce, some mashed avo, some sour cream as well. And then I have my salsa next, next to my nachos. So give this quick and easy meal a try. Comment below and let me know what you think.